Okay, great. So, uh, thank you for coming. Today we'll be talking about the a topic in uh, Microtik, uh, Router OS, that is called FastPath. Okay, uh, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha and then I'm from GLC Network. Uh, the agenda today, um, we're not talking about the fast track and fast path at the same time because I think for those who are new to this topic, uh, these two topics quite will be quite intense. So today we'll be focusing on fast path only. So first introduction and then microtech fast path and then some uh, screenshot for demo and then question and answer. Right, so uh, about the GLC, GLC is uh, Garda Lister Chakrawala, it's an Indonesian company, we are based in Bandung. Areas are, uh, our areas are training and IT consulting, uh, we are Microtech certified uh, training partner, consultant and distributor, uh, also Ubiquiti trainer and consultants, and also uh, Red Hat. Uh, about the webinar itself, webinars for us is an uh, event for sharing uh, knowledge uh, with various topics. Uh, we have discussed Linux, networking, wireless, database, programming, etc. etc. Uh, our regular schedule is every two weeks. Our irregular schedule is as needed. Uh, our schedule is available on our websites www.glcnetworks.com slash main slash schedule. So if you want to be a presenter, okay, you are feel free to do so. Uh, just inform us you want to be a presenter and then uh, we can schedule a, a slot for you. All right. About myself, my name is Ahmed Mardiansha. I'm based in Bandung, a Linux user since 1999, a uh, using Microtik since 2007, uh, Ubiquiti since 2011, I'm a certified trainer for Microtik, Ubiquiti, and Red Hat. Also certified consultants. Previously, I was working as a telco engineer, sysadmin programmer. Uh, some of this stuff, I'm still doing it now. Uh, teaching as well. Uh, my This is my personal website. And then if you have LinkedIn account, and then we can uh, connect through LinkedIn. Uh, okay about yourself well you can introduce yourself here uh, or um, if not and then uh, we can just skip <laughs> so uh, this webinar assume that you already have a uh, knowledge for uh, microtik okay uh, if you are new to the microtik and then uh, well we really suggest you to see our previous webinar all right, so let's continue. Okay, uh, Microtech FastPath. So before we're going to talk about FastPath, we need to understand Microtech Normal Path, okay, as known as Slow Path. So uh, you know, you already know that Microtech has a picture here. Uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, Muhammad Momon. Okay, thank you for coming. Uh, freelancer, so you already have experience with uh, Cisco, Juniper, but no Microtik experience. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so for Microtik, it has a normal path like this. So when a packet is coming into an in input interface, it will go to uh, pre-routing. Uh, so if you already know Linux, uh, Microtik is, um, uh, is made from Linux kernel. So this kind of uh, IP flow, uh, in Microtech we call it IP flow or packet flow, uh, you should be uh, familiar with that. So uh, when a packet is coming into an interface, uh, it will be processed to a pre-routing uh, chain, we call it uh, IP uh, uh, chains of uh, uh, rules. So the first chain is uh, oh, sorry, we call it table, yeah? uh, pre-routing table, so we, because we use IP tables. So change was, yeah, it was the term that we used long time ago. So pre-routing, okay, done. If, after pre-routing, if the packet is uh, forwarded uh, to the, uh, through the micro, uh, through the router itself, it will just go to forward. Uh, 
of the forward go to post routing and then output interface. So if we zoom in the processes here, so we just go through three tables, pre-routing, uh, forward and post routing. So inside of uh, each uh, tables, there are several uh, processing. There are several posts to uh, where the packet is processed. So if you zoom here, pre-routing, there are holes put in connection after that, checking for connection tracking, checking for uh, uh, mangle pre-routing and then destination of. Also for forward, uh, we have a bridge decision and then uh, reducing the TTL, time to leave, uh, set up, uh, execute the mangle forward, mangle filter and then do the counting. And as well as the, and so as the uh, post routing. We have uh, a post routing source nut and then output queue and then uh, done. So uh, that's the uh, normal path. Uh, what about the drawbacks? Yes, it's slow. Okay, slow means yeah, slow packet. So performance, lower performance, meaning lower packet per second. So. Uh, the number of packets that can be forwarded by the router is is not many okay because of the uh, processing that uh, is done by the uh, packet filter a packet flow uh, so as a consequence packets should go through many processing posts okay and then because of that uh, it will cause uh, higher cpu usage especially if you have high traffic Okay, as you can see here, if you open the tools profiles and then you can see firewalls or networking or Ethernet can, will take many processing power of your uh, router CPU. Okay, so firewall here, networking, Ethernet, so uh, there is a possibility that your CPU can go up to 100%. Right. Okay, so is there any way to improve the slow path? Yes. That's why Microtik invented the fast path. <laughs> okay, so previous it was slow, now it's fast. So the idea for fast path is keep the processing posts in case you don't need them. So because not every router we activate the hotspot, not every router we need the uh, connection tracking uh, capability not every router so microtik has many functions okay there are many many features on microtik and then most of most of the time you don't need all of them you don't need to activate all of them so that's why the question is if you don't need them then why do we need to process we need to uh, to process the incoming packet with all of them okay so that we can skip the pre-routing we can skip the forward, we can skip the post routing, and then this really, really improves the router board performance. As you can see here, uh, test on RB750G, uh, if uh, on bridging mode or routing mode here, uh, there is no uh, configuration, uh, it means the fast path is active, and then uh, it can uh, forward 373 megabit per second with Q with 25 simple Q it can just go to 94.6 megabit per second with IP filter rules and then it becomes lower and lower okay so uh, fast part is really really uh, helpful here okay so that means fast part has conditions, yes. Uh, so fast path will active if following conditions are met. And then we uh, we usually call it the handler. So for example, we have IPv4 handler, okay. So firewall rules are not configured, so you don't have any firewalls, you don't have any address list, okay. You don't have any simple queue or queue tree, so these three rules, these three handles are, are <laughs> very common for routers okay for a multi-purpose router usually you put it 
if you don't if you don't use firewalls at all, you don't use any queue, and you can use fastpath. Okay, no mesh configuration, no meta router configuration. So you don't do any sniffing, uh, tors or other uh, traffic generators. Connection tracking is not active. IP accounting is disabled. VRF is not set. Okay, so IP route VRF is empty. You don't use any hotspot. You don't use any uh, IPsec policy. Uh, Max scan or IP scan. Route cache should be enabled. Okay, and then firewall uh, connection tracking is enabled. Okay, and then uh, your fast path is 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 active. Another handler is here IPv4 fast track handler. Okay, so this topic will be talking in the next webinar. Okay, not today. So today we'll be talking about fast path. Next topic will be the uh, fast track. So fast because fast track is the subset of fast path. Okay, you cannot do any fast track if fast path is disabled. All right. So uh, next is uh, traffic generator handler. Okay, if you do a uh, traffic generator. And then fast path will be disabled. MPLS handler, if you activate MPLS, automatically fast path is enabled. Okay, so that's why MPLS on MicroTik really, really improve performance. Uh, if you use bridge, make sure there is no firewall, otherwise, a fast path is disabled. No mesh configuration, no sniffer, torch, or traffic generator is running. All right. So next question is, uh, is my router board supported by FastPath? Yes, almost all router boards support FastPath. Almost all, almost. So that means not all, okay? Because FastPath depends on the driver that is installed on the uh, hardware, okay? So every hardware needs driver, and then not all drivers supported by FastPath, okay? So the question is, how do I know if my router was supported by FastPath? Well, you can check the slash interface print details. That's the command. And then so if you see uh, the output, and then you can see FastPath equals to yes. Okay. So that means that port is supported by FastPath. And then, so that was the previous interface. What about the virtual interface like PPPoE or like L2TP in this case? Okay, so uh, the picture here is the L2TP. So L2TP, uh, uh, FastPath can support L2TP. FastPath can support EOIP. Okay, um, yeah, uh, more and more virtual interface will be added to support FastPath. So if you want to check, you go to interface, print details, and then allow FastPath. Okay, as you can see here. So, uh, next question is, how do I know the FastPath is active? You can check IP settings print. There you allow the FastPath. You check, tick the FastPath is uh, up and running. And then if it is active, and then that's the, uh, automatically, um, the red box at the below here, at the bottom, will be uh, counting the packets, okay? So how many packets that is forwarded by using FastPath? Yeah, so that's as simple as that. So on the top here is the feature to activate the FastPath. So if you don't allow FastPath, and then of course the FastPath will not be available on your router board. And uh, at the below here, yeah, uh, a lower uh, box, uh, red box here, yeah. uh, you can see IPv4 fastpath active. So it means that if you want to know, oh, is it fastpath active on my uh, uh, router board? Yes. If it is checked here, and then uh, there are several packets is counted, yes, this enabled. Otherwise, no. For in this example, it's not active. Okay. So if you are interested, and then you can uh, join to our trainings. Okay, if you have any questions, and then uh, please type here and then we'll discuss. Uh, we would like to say thank you for your attention. 
if you want to submit your feedback about our um, webinar or any others uh, click uh, the uh, link there or if you have uh, Facebook you can uh, join to our page okay to our group uh, slide is available on uh, slideshare.net www.slideshare.net slash r41 nww uh, recording is available on youtube you just go to you actually you don't have to remember this one uh, you just log into youtube and then type glc networks uh, we have a channel there okay slide is available on slideshare you just go there any questions Okay, if you have any questions, and then just type them here. Uh, the question doesn't have to be uh, very complex. Uh, if you are new to Microtik, and then uh, you can join the. Um, I mean, you can join the uh, chat message here. You can you can type a message. You can type uh, your question here and then we'll discuss it. Okay, if you don't have any questions, and then uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. Uh, we will see uh, on. Uh, we'll see you on uh, next two weeks. Okay, so in the next week we are going to have a next webinar, and then we will let you know the topic. So the topic is uh, fast track. Okay. Okay. Uh, no questions. Okay. So uh, because there is no question. Okay, I have I have one question here coming to me about the uh, fast path. Yeah. So what's the difference between fast path and fast track? So <laughs> thank you very much for the questions. Uh, actually, uh, as we um, mentioned before fast track is just a subset of fast path so fast path is the general idea and then the one trigger for activate the fast path is the fast track okay so with fast track because we are uh, neglecting the all processing the uh, pre-routing the uh, post-routing the forward as a consequence, if you have mango, if you have a queue, and then those queues will not be uh, executed. Yeah, that's that's the dangerous thing. Not dangerous. I mean, as the consequence that you need to know, because uh, previously I had a complaint from my customer saying that okay, my queue doesn't work. Okay. So in Microtik we have a queue, right? And then this queue doesn't work. After I'm checking, and then it was because the fast part was active. So we disabled, and then everything is fine. Okay, any more questions? Well, if there's no questions, and then thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we'll see you um, in the next two weeks. Thank you very much.